Hi, I'm Kaylin, bringing you this week's news. Do you laugh a lot? Well, if you do, good luck watching Maddie and Tahira on their game show called Try Not to Laugh. Do you think you can do it? I bet not. Well, we'll find out. Here they are. Welcome to Try Not to Laugh. I'm Maddie. And I'm Tahira. Today we're going to tell jokes to four of our favorite teachers. Let's meet the contestants. Scott Maxwell is best known for his extreme skills in the circle game and the generous amount of time he dedicates to his track fam. Corey Fielding is best known for showing the most positivity and giving anyone the encouragement they need to make it through the day. Brian Gray is a freshman global studies teacher best known for his impeccable coaching skills on and off the court. And Carrie Grella is best known for her great teaching abilities in her dead animal collection. Ms. Grella, do you know what kind of tea is hard to swallow? Reality. How do you find Will Smith in the snow? <laughs> the Fresh Prince. Ooh, that stinks. What's wrong, Maxwell? Can't take the heat? There goes Scott, fam Maxwell. What does a nosy pepper do? It gets all up in your business. Oh, he's about to blow! See ya, Brian Gray! Thanks for watching Try Not To Laugh. You guys get to decide who the winner is. Comment down below. See ya! Wow, that was great. I definitely came in last place. I laughed so much. How'd you do? Did you know Wednesday, March 14th, there's a student staff basketball game from 3.30 to 5.30? Let's hear Maya and her opinions on the big game. Let's see who will be the biggest baller. Was the game competitive? Yes, it was. You get to see a side of your teachers that you don't normally see. It's kind of more natural and very unexpected, but it was definitely competitive. You know, you're playing against some teachers, so obviously there's going to be some competitiveness, especially the younger teachers. What was it like playing against the teachers? Um, it was interesting. You know, some of the teachers are a little older, so you can't go as rough. But, um, overall, it was pretty fun. It's always very intense. It's always upbeat, which is always nice. It was definitely fun playing against the teachers. I was very impressed with the teachers. Going into it, you don't really expect them to be as good as they are, so it's kind of shocking, but it's very fun. Some of the teachers that I they had no idea that I could play basketball came out and play. Like Mr. Hurley, I didn't expect him to be good at basketball. He just he was actually pretty good. Obviously, it's never fun to be beat. It's never fun. It puts a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, we're definitely going into it this year with a little more vengeance, so that should make for a fun game. The staff always brags if they win. There are some teachers that brag more than others. Mr. McQueen is one of them. I never like to lose, so it's not always, it's not fun when you get beat, especially by your teachers, and you go to class the next day and they brag about it. So, we're bringing home the W this year. Go to that. I hope you all go too. I wonder who's gonna win. Now, for what's coming up for the rest of this week. First, on Tuesday, there's voting day. Don't forget to remind your parents or any other adult that lives in Kingston or Newton to vote on the school budget. Then, Thursday is the math meet. Good luck, mathletes. Solve those equations. Do you know I used to hate math until I realized that decimals had this weekend? Go support the Sanborn Drama Troupe in their musical called The Chorus Line. Showtimes are Friday and Saturday night at 7 and Sunday afternoon at 2. Well, I hope this segment made you laugh a lot, get in the mood for the basketball game, and get excited for no school on Friday. That's a wrap for this segment. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time on SNS. This is Kaylin signing out.